Sven Jorn Eriksson paying his own tribute. Uh, Norman, sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, you we were just talking about the, the team that George found himself in at United after the European Cup triumph. Mm -hmm. A team in decline. Yeah, it was actually that because, like Lindsay said, they got relegated. But there was a lot of comings and goings. And it wasn't to George's liking. Because I think like George um, thought he was carrying the team himself in, in so many games he did. And there wasn't enough good players around him for the team to survive. And I think that got on George's nerves a little bit. And then, of course, he never made it to a World Cup Finals. You did yeah. uh, a couple of times. I mean, do you, you think that would have made a difference to him? It's a shame when people say about, you know, he never made the World Cup. I was just around at the right time. Yeah. You know, George um, wasn't um, in, in his career um, for Northern Ireland to qualify. I mean, we've only qualified in three World Cups. And unfortunately, George um, wasn't part of one of them. Um, it would have been great to see him in the world stage um, playing against the best players in the world. But unfortunately, that never happened. Yes, I mean, you, you can imagine, Lindsay, how frustrating it must have been for him. Well, it, it, it must have been the greatest stage on, you know, in the world, and he never got the opportunity. But uh, in saying that, we've been lucky with the likes of television that we still have footage of the olden days. You know, we're lucky in that respect. And there'll be a lot of kids here at the funeral today who wouldn't have seen an awful lot of George Best, but at least they can, they can watch it on tapes, DVD or whatever. There's just not enough. There isn't enough, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. However much there is, there's not enough. You, know, we, we, you keep seeing the same goals that we played in, in everyone's coverage. And I, you keep there must be more out there. Someone must have more. I think there'll probably be a lot of amateur videos about, mm. probably, you know, but I, for one, can never get sick of watching it over mm. and over again because he, he's turned up to a right back of uh, West Ham <laughs> inside out so many times. <laughs> it's, it's just great to watch. Uh, the man with twisted blood, uh, uh, as Pat Kerr so memorably said. Let's just go back to, to Stormont as the procession goes back down to the gates and talk to Tara Mills. Tara. Well, Noel, the uh, cortege is just slowly making its way down the Prince of Wales Avenue and the crowds that had gathered to watch the cortege go in and clap as it passed on the way in before the service um, they have now, they, during the service they went away, they have now come back. They seem to, most of the people I've been speaking to went off to houses and went off uh, to cars to listen to the service and to watch the service. And people very much moved by the family tributes, by the friends at the service. People saying about uh, Barbara McNary, George Best's sister, paying tribute to her brother, saying he never blamed anyone for the troubles that he had. He brought people together and he was the beautiful boy of the beautiful game. And she said he hasn't gone, he's just stepped off the pitch. People saying he gave so much and took so little in return. A very dignified service, very brave of the family to take part. And the cortege just making its way down now, just coming towards the gates. And lovely stories as well from Dennis Law and from Bobby McAlinden, George Best's friend, telling the story of his incredible generosity during the time that they were in America together and set up business together. And really quite touching and moving stories that, um, that people are talking about here and saying that it was, uh, it was lovely to hear those individual stories and to hear about George Best whenever he was out of the public eye, whenever he was out of the spotlight. And people saying he gave so much and he gave so much and took so little in return and transcended the religious and political divide here.